Hey, welcome to Fallon Hike. Today we're in the Adirondacks, we're in the Saranac Lake area, and we're gonna hike Mackenzie and Astack Mountain. Both mountains are part of the Saranac Lake Sixers, so you get two for one doing this trail. So it will be my third and my fourth one out of six, so that's pretty cool. And when you complete the Saranac Lake Sixers, you can get like a badge and certification or something like that. It's a bit chilly this morning, it's around 5 degrees Celsius, but it's supposed to get warmer, so we'll see. With all the mud and the water and the freezing temperature, it was time to switch my trail runner to my Mob 2 mid shoes. They're waterproof, so it will help a bit. <laughs> If you're interested in hiking the Saranac Lake Sixers, I'll put a link of their website in the description below. So far it's a nice easy pad for mostly skiing, so nice fall hike, not too complicated. Still goes up, but it's not that hard. We'll see how it goes, but for now, pretty smooth. So at some point you reach a nice lean-to with a fire pit and everything, so it's pretty cool. So there's a lean-to on the Jackrabbit Trail. Make sure to smash that like button. If you hike the Saranac Lake Sixers, you will hike Ampersand Mountain. Ampersand Mountain is so far my favorite winter hike ever. This mountain is amazing. The views that you get, it, I felt like I was in a different world. I will put the link up there if you want to see that video. And just to give you an idea of what it was like, I'll show you a couple pictures. So at some point you reach a split and you can take the Haystack Trail or the Mackenzie Trail. I will start with the Mackenzie one and then I'll finish with the Haystack. And all along the trail to get to that split, honestly, it's super easy. It's a very easy trail, wide trail, a running trail technically. There's a bit of mud that you can go around. Other than that, it's super flat, super easy to follow family hike for now. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna climb now, so both will be harder, but yeah, all the way up to the split is very easy. When you take the Mackenzie Trail, it will get steeper and you will start to climb 
and you'll sweat more. So I took my coat off. These are so good. point of view just before the summit is stunning honestly really really nice you get a super view of the Saranac lakes it's awesome lakes and mountains everywhere After all the point of views that you had going up Mackenzie, you get to the summit which has a sign like this to tell you that you reached it. This morning on my way to come here, I had an oh dear moment. Wow, that was close. I'm back at the split. So now I'm gonna go towards a stack. Apparently it's easier. This one was a bit technical to be honest. You have to climb a lot. To recap everything here, if you do it by the jackrabbit trail, super easy, super simple to go up, you pass a lean-to, then you reach a split, you can decide to go on a stack or McKenzie. I took McKenzie first, pretty hard, honestly, very technical, you have to climb some rocks, it's steep at some point, it's muddy, so you have to be careful, but you get many point of views. The summit is just a sign, but everything else is pretty much views. When you go down, then you can go on a stack. A stack is way easier. It's a very short trail. There's not much to do. When you reach the summit, it's a 180 degree view. More colors, it's a bit lower and it's on the other side. So less 
pines, it's more like trees. So you get leaves and all the colors, but it's just one view, but it's pretty. And then you can come back down and go back on the jackrabbit trail. There's another way also you can do it by the other side of a stack. And apparently you see other things, but I didn't do that one. So I hope you enjoyed that video. See you soon.